Hi, this is Josh and Pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com here to talk about the top five, the five most common blood pressure medications. Um, I, as with all my videos, not medical advice. And this, uh, I'll include the source in the video description is from ClinCal.com. So number five, number five, the fifth most commonly prescribed blood pressure medication is hydrochlorothiazide. We often see that abbreviated as HCTZ. Many times this is used in combination with other uh, blood pressure medications for kind of a synergistic effect. Uh, one medication is not quite enough. Uh, sometimes a combination of two will be enough to control the blood pressure. It is a diuretic or what many people simply refer to as a water pill. Helps get rid of excess fluid. Uh, initially, it's dosed at uh, 12 and a half to 25 milligrams. Typically is what we see people start at once a day. Can go up to 50 milligrams once a day. Uh, dosed once or twice a day we want to do it early in the day so we're not up during the night using the restroom because it is a water pill um, again maximum dosage of 50 milligrams per day for blood pressure control and uh, again early in the day uh, side effects can include while they are generally mild it can include dizziness or headache or vertigo uh, HCTZ or hydrochlorothiazide can increase skin sensitivity to sunlight so we do need to be mindful of that that one could burn easier than normal rash can occur and it is reported it can increase blood sugar levels typically not enough to make one diabetic or um, to require more medications to control diabetes but certainly something one wants to watch for constipation can occur as well number four the fourth most common uh, prescribed blood pressure medication losartan losartan is an arb or angiotensin 2 receptor blocker main effect uh, the arbs have is they cause the blood vessels to relax and that helps lower the blood pressure um, it is often used in combination with hctz again the two together uh, can control blood pressure really well for some folks. U.S. brand name Kozar. Uh, the losartan dosage generally started out at 25 to 50 milligrams a day with a max dose uh, of 100 milligrams per day. Can be taken with or without food, but it's best taken at the same time in the same way each day for consistency. Um, so you have 24 hour coverage. Um, you find the time of day that works best for you and remember to take it each day. Side effects with losartan are generally mild, again, tolerated really well by most people. We can see some swelling and edema, uh, itchiness, rash. One thing that you do have to, your doctor will monitor for is increased levels of potassium. That can happen anytime taking losartan. Nausea, diarrhea, stomach pain, dizziness, drowsiness, muscle and back pain can occur, ringing in the ears, and cough. Number three, number three, metoprolol, or some people call it metoprolol. I hear it pronounced both ways, metoprolol, metoprolol. It's a beta blocker. Um, it's available in the regular release, which the U.S. brand name is Low Presser, as well as the extended release, U.S. brand name Toprol. It's used to treat, of course, blood pressure. That's what we're talking about. But it's also used for angina and uh, certain heart failure patients. Uh, the dosage of the immediate release generally started 50 milligrams twice a day up to 400 milligrams per day and that again would be a split dose so maximum of 200 milligrams twice a day should be taken with meals. Uh, metoprolol succinate the extended release generic toprol XL generally 25 to 100 milligrams once a day again maximum 400 milligrams per day and it uh, can be taken with or without food although some Times it's still recommended that it be taken with food. Uh, we want to go ahead and take that at the same time every day, though, so we get to full coverage, 24 hour coverage for blood pressure. Metoprolol side effects uh, it can affect heart rate, so we do have to watch that it doesn't uh, drop our heart rate too low. And of course, any blood pressure medication can cause low blood pressure. Uh, rash itchiness can occur nausea heartburn diarrhea depression sometimes we can see some transient depression with the uh, beta blockers if that seems to be an issue be sure to speak to your health care provider uh, dizziness fatigue and vertigo can also occur number two number two second most prescribed blood pressure medication amlodipine Amlodipine, it's a calcium channel blocker uh, sold in the u.s under the brand name norvask it's used for blood pressure, of course, as well as uh, angina. Sometimes we see it used for Raynaud syndrome too.
Uh, dosage, uh, usually two and a half to five milligrams once a day with a max of 10 milligrams per day taken with or without food. Again, same time each day a side effects edema or swelling of the hands this can happen uh, generally on the higher dose and we can see it uh, when i see it it seems like it happens when you you're increased from five to ten milligram tablets something you want to be mindful of let your healthcare provider know if that occurs also flushing rash itch can occur nausea stomach pain drowsiness dizziness fatigue muscle cramping Number one, the most commonly prescribed blood pressure medication is lisinopril. Lisinopril is an ACE inhibitor, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor. In the U.S., the brand names uh, sold under the brand names Prinavil and Zestril. It basically it allows the blood vessels to relax, very similar to how ARBs work. It of course treats high blood pressure or hypertension and may be used in folks with certain and that should be heart failure, not hear failure, certain types of heart failure. It's often used in uh, combination with hydrochlorothiazide. Uh, dosage, generally, you started at uh, 5 to 10 milligrams once a day with a max of uh, 40 milligrams a day taken with or without food. Uh, side effects can include dizziness, low blood pressure, rash, photosensitivity, increased levels of potassium. So we want to make sure that we're having our labs taken regularly. Uh, muscle pain, blurred vision, and ringing in the ears can occur as well. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you appreciate this information. Remember, all these medications, I do have more detailed videos if you'd like to learn more about those. I would really appreciate it if you'd like this video and subscribe to my channel.